Let's take a moment from the get to go to clear up some of the most persistent misconceptions about how to work with a virtual assistant so that you can make decisions about your business that are based in reality and not a rumor. Number one, a VA can do everything immediately with zero training. This is a huge misconception about VAs, and it's something that has caused many a headache for both the business owner, that's you, and VAs alike. And it stems from a common issue in any relationship, and that is off-kilter expectations. While it's true that a good VA can catch on quickly, there is always going to be an onboarding process as well as an orientation period. This person does not know the ins and outs of your business or personality yet. And there are some things that they must learn, like your preferences, your desired outcomes, for example. So before they can do any of the work, you've got to give them a grace period to get to know your business. Having said that, part of the length and pains of onboarding and orientation can be shortened if you do the suggested activities that are in this course in real time. Number two, VAs are available 24 seven. No, no, no. Your VA is not an employee. They are not paid like employees. There are no benefits to them like healthcare, 401ks. In fact, VAs often juggle multiple clients at the same time. The flexibility of this job is one of the things that draws many of us to virtual assisting assistants in the first place, because we can foot, fit the work around our other priorities. If you need a virtual assistant who is available during your regular business hours, you certainly will be able to find one. But this just needs to be established in the interview process and preferably in the job description itself before the real interactions between you and a VA even begin. Now, if you don't care when the VA gets the work done, as long as it gets done, you will find a lot of qualified virtual assistants interested in working with you on an asynchronous basis. The way to make an async arrangement work is to have very clear deadlines and milestones established in the first place, which we will discuss in depth later on in the course. But again, keep in mind, the VA that you're hiring is not on call 24 seven. They have a life, they have more clients, and most importantly, they are not your employee. Common misconception number three, working with a VA is too risky because you have to share confidential info. And I get it. You hire somebody off the internet and you hand over all of your passwords to your personal life and your business. And then you pay them for this privileged access. It sounds scary, but I'm here to tell you that your VA will need access to some of your most critical information in order to do their work. This includes access to your inbox, your social media accounts, your travel accounts, and maybe even things like your bank accounts. While there is no way around the need for that access, there are some things that you can do to mitigate the risks that you're taking on by outsourcing to a VA. First, ask your prospective VA for references. You can ask your VA to sign a non-disclosure agreement or even a confidentiality agreement as well. This will make your expectations absolutely clear right from the get-go. You can also use password management systems. These are a great way to securely share passwords. And all of these things are, again, something else that we'll talk about more in depth later on in the course. Number four, you don't trust that your VA will track time effectively. Now, it's not uncommon to connect with a VA who charges by the hour. A concern that I hear from clients again and again is how can I be sure that my VA is actually tracking my time effectively? I'm here to tell you, VAs are professionals. Operating a virtual assistant business means that your VA isn't just here to help you manage tasks. It also means that your VA is a business owner themselves. So while time tracking does come down to the professionalism of your particular assistant, there are ways that you can also ensure that your hours are being tracked appropriately. You can always ask your VA to provide reports or screenshots of tasks and the hours tracked. Any VA worth their salt will have their own time tracking system in place. And many of these tools offer them the ability to export timesheets showing exactly how much time was spent on which tasks. 
Even if you've hired a VA who works on a flat fee and not hourly, you can still request that they send you these timesheets. A word of advice here, however, don't go overboard on the micromanagement because the point of delegation is to help you release control of some aspects of work. Micromanaging timesheets runs the risk of you adding extra stress and a lot more work on your ever-growing workload. So now that you're hopefully convinced that hiring a VA is the right move for you and you've crossed off some of the common misconceptions and reasons not to hire one, it's time to start building your systems and getting organized. So in the next lecture, we're going to start building some of your systems out.